did he choose to go into politics? Did he see politics as the pathway um, of assimilation? You know, he obviously had a very lucrative legal career. It was just like a natural progression, or was there that ambition that? You know, the Ari, the problem is that since Benjamin left no traces, everything I one says about him is, right. is speculation. So I can only speculate that you know, in those days when people use the word public service, you know, it didn't have an ironic or pejorative uh, meaning the way it might today. So going into politics was the kind of thing that a gentleman would often do once he had made enough money that he could afford to uh, reduce his income because of the amount of time he would spend in government. So it was, it was considered, uh, especially national politics, he didn't run for state office, he ran for the Senate, you know, that was a noble calling. And so yes, for a man who was driven to succeed, as he was driven to succeed, if you compare him to the other Judah of New Orleans, Judah Turo, an immensely wealthy businessman who did good works, who spread his wealth throughout the city, both to Jews and non-Jews. You know, that was a certain kind of idea of what it meant to be a grand person. But I think that Benjamin had a much more a classically American idea of what that meant. And so to be a, a United States Senator, that was the highest thing that a Jew could possibly aspire to in the United States. There had never been any.